What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video back on Lions franchise week 16 against the Chicago Bears. They are just 2 and 12 and I forgot to even show this at the end of the last episode. So what I did is I tweeted it. I put it on Twitter. The development trait for Raphael Wilkinson is finally revealed. And it is drum roll, please superstar x factor yeah the glitch ended up being correct it showed first one free as his superstar x factor ability back as far as the preseason and yeah he did end up being superstar x factor one of you in the comments made the point that he was the number one player on the big board at the start of the previous season and as players tend to do in the draft sometimes he fell all the way down the draft board to the third round and I drafted him pretty much by just him being maybe the best player available at that spot. And I go, I guess we'll draft him. And here he is, maybe my best draft pick of all time. He's an 85 overall in his rookie season. He's a superstar X factor. And I have put double me, route tech, and deep out elite on him. I'm still considering what to do. Like maybe red zone threat would be a bit better. I'm not quite sure. I don't know, maybe even short out elite would be better. I'm not sure if any of this actually, uh, well, I, I know route tech does, but I don't know if any of these actually influence route running. I'm really not sure. Maybe that would be slot -omatic, probably. But he doesn't have this. So he was, you know, running the fastest slant routes of all time previously, and I'm not really sure why. But yeah, superstar X Factor. I mean, he's been having an unbelievable season. As you can see, he's only played in nine games. I guess it's not on the screen right now. But 69 catches, very nice. 1,230 yards, 14 touchdowns, averaging nearly 140 yards per game. 14 touchdowns. So, I mean, he's literally been the best rookie receiver of all time. Well, he's on pace to break the... Uh, the counting stat records as well, depending on how good his games are in week 16, 17, and 18. But we do have a short week meeting, and that will be... Obviously, we have a short week this week, so not much time to create an elaborate game plan. With that being the case, I want to stress how important it is that we play fundamentally sound football this week. Is this JC Trutter? It is, and I agree. And he says, definitely. With so little recovery time, a lot of guys are going to be less than 100%, which can lead to sloppy football and mental errors. I agree, JC. And then to Coach Denga says, exactly, and we're better than that. Stress to the team that it is imperative that we take care of the ball and be the team capitalizing off mistakes rather than being the ones making them. So beat the Bears and commit one or fewer turnovers. We've been pretty good about not turning over the football lately. That was not the case last week. Our second loss of the season was at the hands of the Seattle Seahawks. It was a rainy game. It was disgusting. It was bleak. It was bleary. And we just didn't play our game. We lost Imani Warawarie in practice. But he will be back. And we should hopefully limit the Bears' passing attack. They do have some good players. But so do we. And when this team is healthy, there are not very many teams that can beat us. And we weren't fully healthy last week. Anytime you miss CB1 on the team, as good as a guy like Cam Ford is, anytime you miss CB1, you're going to have a tough time. You're just going to have a tough time. So, let's count some outside linebackers here. Marco Ford. I mean, the thing with these run stoppers, ooh, Auburn, teammate of Rafael Wilkinson last season, mid first round guy, not bad value for the third round, which is where we even took Raphael Wilkinson but the thing with these outside linebackers is the off-ball ones so all the run stopper types they're always not very athletic because the archetype for outside linebacker with the pass rushers being in there they're naturally slower so all the outside linebackers who play off the ball just suck even if their overall is good they're never really like more than 82 speed which just isn't fast enough usually as we'll change the weekly game plan goal. Let's do 350 yards passing. Just because we pretty much do that. Less than 4 yards per carry. I'm cool with that. I think pass for 275 yards. I think is very capable. And we don't really get sacked all that often. I get the football out pretty quickly. So we'll do don't allow a sack. And let's hop in. Let's do training. 
and let's hope that our team stays healthy all right that's emergency sos stop calling that all right let's <laughs> get a phone call i was trying to silence it but uh nope ended up nearly calling the police and thankfully no one is hurt so let's go ahead into week 16 and play against the chicago bears we do have some upgrade points first though Ooh, big time players all four impactful starters jeff okuda slot starter we'll do vertical threat for tj we'll get hawk upgraded to a 92 some pretty good upgrades in there all things considered nothing crazy he's just not super involved in the offense anymore when we couldn't stretch the field he was a huge part of it but just hasn't really been the case lately as plus three power moves for Duran Payne. Love to see that is already, you know, he already has incredible block shedding. That really hasn't been a thing we focused on. And for Russ Clemens, I'd love to get finesse moves into the 80s. I think that's what I focused on every single time we've upgraded him. And we get plus three finesse moves. 79 right now. Can we get edge threat? We don't even have him at superstar dev. So we can't do edge threat, but maybe if he... Uh, one day get superstar dev hopefully at the end of this season we'll be able to do that we'll do slot for jeff okuda as well hopefully zone coverage is touched in here a little bit i'd love plus one speed you don't get any coverage just random other upgrades and i will see you in the game against chicago heading to soldier field in chicago illinois the windy city see if we can brave the elements outside of our usual dome and beat this 82 rated chicago bears team thursday night prime time let's get after it the kick is off and we are underway here in chicago as there will be no opportunity to return there for kentrell bird remember the rutgers corner i think he was in that really good corner class with cam ford and with the seahawks corner um we matched up against last week i want to say that he was that's a really nice tackle by Derek davidson in space we're in the all whites we are rocking the color rush here on Thursday night against the Bears color rush. We don't usually wear the Lions regular uniforms in real life too much anymore as Justin Fields will get sacked. Eric Hudson flying off the edge, but you can pretty much call that a covered sack. Justin Fields need to get rid of that football. We didn't really get in too quickly. It was just that Justin Fields held the football and it's third and 21. Just cover the running back out of the backfield. And Fields will lob it up deep at Oruwarie. And that will be caught, but out of bounds. Incomplete. And the Lions will take over. We will take over at the 43. We'll try a little end around here. A little reverse to Rashad Reese. Try to cut that up field. And that was not good. Play action back to Rashad Reese. I like Hawkinson there. But I don't like it enough. Richie Owens is open. Let's find him. Nice throw from Paul Garrison. And just like that, one throw from Paul Garrison, and we are into the red zone. 38 yards to Richie Owens, a two-year player. Of course, the third-round pick out of Tennessee. As we'll get it to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield quickly. This could be a touchdown, and it will be. DeAndre Swift, good speed out of the backfield, and he just won that foot race. He's had so many receiving touchdowns this season compared to the entire rest of the series. It's been insane. But look who they have him lined up with. You're just not going to be able to keep up. Fields trying to roll out. He's sacked again. Deron Payne up the middle. Maybe that's courtesy of his power move upgrade. And it is another third and long for Chicago. We're going to back off a bit and let Justin Fields beat us down the field. And he's going to go over the middle. And that's exactly what he did. Beat us down the field. 22 yards on third and 18. We were going to let him do whatever he wanted to, but we just didn't have guys over the middle to stop that. It's a good route by Allen Robinson, I guess. What else can you say? And that's another good route, but Davidson's there for the breakup. Fields has all day. And he's eventually going to find somebody. And even though I'm spamming X, even though I'm spamming X, we don't get a tackle animation standing right on the player. I'm not going to get mad. We're up 7-0. Things are good. Nice tackle, Davidson. Another third down for this Bears team. We are trying to run with that. Davidson, for some reason, didn't follow it. And finally, feels a sack. It's Deshaun Hand. 
A lot of covered sacks so far in this game, but that forces Chicago out of field goal range. Third sack of the game, and two of them at least, are just because Justin Fields held onto the ball for way too long. Actually, you know what? It kind of did that Ohio State a little bit. That's super open. Richie Owens with the nice little catch. Saw the boundary corner Jalen Johnson as Jamie Allridge will be out. We have a capable backup and swing tackle Charles Leno though who will take over. But saw Jalen Johnson playing deep, which means uh, we're going to have underneath pretty much all day. Just throw that on the run to TJ Hawkinson and we're, we're going to be short. I guess I thought that was second down for some reason. Uh, okay, got to be more cognizant of the down, obviously. All right, we shall punt, and that is gonna be down to the 34. Not a bad punt. It's going to be a run. A lot of space for Montgomery. He'll take advantage of it. Two broken tackles, including Ford and I believe Brian Davis, and a fresh set of downs for Chicago. Probably the first time they started out a drive with not having a third and long involved. Oh, it's a screen and incomplete. Uh, where are you going, BJ? BJ just blowing away the opportunity to make a play there. And uh, it's a big explosive play for Chicago. That happens when you blow it. I mean, it's just, you gotta stay closer. You don't wanna finish too early and uh, he stayed with it for a minute and just let them come all the way down the field. Just wham, it's not even letting me move with Turner. Montgomery with a big stiff arm. Big hit by Derek Davidson, but it is another first down for the Bears. Throw the slant. Throw the slant. Fields getting sacked. Eric Hudson again off the edge, but Field is holding the ball, being immobile, being a statue in the pocket again. I mean, don't change it up. I'm cool with that. We're going to play him off the ball here. It's actually going to be a run. It's a very odd animation, and that will be the end of the first quarter. Third and goal from the 13 are the Chicago Bears. Underneath, can't stay with it. Field to the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Man, they felt unstoppable on that drive. It will be tied at seven. Third and two, do I trust the run here? We're gonna have to. Actually, I prefer it going to the left. Blue Mac can be a chase player. We won't run at him. And Swift just uses the power to go up the middle. Jonah Jackson decided he didn't want to block, so it's kind of had to do it ourselves. Kind of want to streak Rashad Reese. He's one of the fastest players on the entire team. And we're just getting sacked. We're going to fumble the ball. Just got out of the pocket. And that will be housed. Touchdown, Bears. Just didn't, just didn't uh, do what we needed to. Felt like... Uh, I thought I would have more time than I did. And Chicago capitalizes. Rolling out with Garrison. Looking like NCAA. Richie Owens, can you block, please? If he just turns around and blocks one guy, it's a huge play for Vanilla Vic. Merch link in the description. And by the time you're seeing this, yes, I've seen all the comments. We will be coming out with a line of merch for the Riverside Royals. It's coming. It's going to be out very shortly. So yes, I've seen the comments and I'm making it happen. I think that's open, right? Yep, thread the needle perfectly. TJ Hawkinson, big gain. Paul Garrison starting out nine for nine for over 100 yards and a touchdown. Not too shabby. I think we can run against this. I think we can. Oh, I, I really expected Frank Ragnow. Was that Ragnow 77? I really expected him to pick up a block on the outside. It's not what happened. And it's second down and seven. I liked Godwin there. Oh, I just didn't feel like we had the time. First incompletion is a wise throw away. And it is third down and seven. We're in field goal range. I think I want Chris Godwin on an in. I think we're gonna have the uh, advantage there. That's open enough. See Andre Swift, our trusty receiver out of the backfield. It's a huge conversion. I don't really want to run on this. Look at this front. We're going to fake it. We're going to make it look like a run, but it ain't. Play action. Linebackers kind of bit. Richie Owens is open, and it's a foot race to the end zone, and Richie Owens wins it. 
He is currently fighting for the league lead in receiving yards as he is approaching nearly 1,400. 1,400 1, yards for Richie Owens would be a very, very, very good season two from him in the league. So Ron, oh, it's an end around. That was really well designed. That was really well designed because I had no idea where the football was. Fresh set of downs after the punt by Chicago. We're going to go underneath and that pass is batted down at the line. All right, sets up second and 10. I'm trying to make something happen. I feel like our offense has been slightly lackluster in this game. And we're going to air it out deep. Wilkinson, go up and get it. And he did. And he's out of bounds. Did not get two feet down. Nice way to go up and get it. We just got to be aware of where that, that sideline is and make that catch in the future. We just got to finish the play. That's what that is. And we're just going to have to throw it away there. All right. This Chicago pressure, I feel like, has been pretty pressuring. <laughs> Fourth and ten, punt by Jamie Gillen. And there is opportunity to return here, and Kendall Sheffield makes a nice tackle. Oh, and they're going deep. Ford in pursuit, not fast enough. Cole Komet, one over the top. Down to the two-yard line. I'm not even sure what happened there. I mean, it's, it's on Cameron Ford. We're in cover four quarters. He's got that deep quarter. He just didn't run with the route. I don't know if you expected Tyrone Wilbur to cover that. I don't think you want a linebacker running vertically down the field. As Fields will get sacked again. This time, it's the opposite edge. Russ Clem... What was that? Is... What was that celebration? I'm not even going to say what I thought it looked like, but... I, we're going to leave it at that. That's going to be a touchdown. Just Wilbur trying to cover David Montgomery out of the backfield. It's not good. And we're going to go down at 21-14. Still time to score before the end of the half. A minute and a half to do it. We just cannot stop the Chicago offense right now. It's concerning. It's concerning. Oh, Richie Owens, look at the moves. Oh, my goodness. Wasn't even talking because it was just going to be a quick play, get out of bounds, but Richie Owens made it a little bit exciting there. A minute now to play after the nice Richie Owens first down and more. And we're going to try him again deep down the field. Does he have a step? He does, and he couldn't hold on. Thought we might have had a touchdown, but Owens just could not secure it. A tough catch. Got Jalen Johnson right on your back. But it's a catch I would like to see made as we're going to lob things up for Reese. He is a step, and he also can't hold on. Do these all need to be possession catches and not rack catches? You know, with the step, you expect some of these receivers to be able to make these plays as we are at third and down. Third and down, that's not a thing. Third down and ten. Raphael Wilkinson, nice game. He'll make a man miss, and Wilkinson has it down to the 26. We'll call a timeout. Nice catch by Raphael Wilkinson, but maybe even a better run. Definitely a better run. To me, a beautiful misdirection on this right side. They're not going to know what to do. Wilkinson wide open. Just step out of bounds. We could actually run the ball here, and we're going to. Look at the Chicago personnel. They're not built to defend this right now. That's a nice little gain. Takes some time off the clock, though. Second and five. TJ, touchdown. TJ Hawkinson ties things up before the end of the half. Let's go. Let's go, TJ. Chicago has eight seconds to answer. Don't think it's going to happen. So basically 0-0 zero, zero game going into the second half. But it's not 0-0. Zero, zero. It's 21-21. Like 21 Savage. But I'm not going to have any heart in the second half. We got to defend... How do they even run on? I'm not even sure what their offense has been. It's been random things. Defend outside run, maybe? Oh, we start with the ball, though. That's nice. Third quarter is underway. And we'll try to extend our lead and keep it that way. Well, get a lead and then extend it and 
keep doing that is what I mean Ooh, we got Paul Garrison in the zone let's find Rashad Reese oh you gotta make him miss I know like it's an odd angle awkward you know he's he's coming from a weird angle behind you but you gotta make him miss do something creative second and eight oh man I wanted to get it to Richie they just sent pressure and we couldn't really do much about it third and eight do we try a screen? That feels like a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. I don't know if I really like the vertical routes, though. Maybe we'll kind of work them as clear outs. And I, we, I pump faked accidentally and got sacked. I mean, they brought pressure anyway. McMillan in there easily. Same play. Same result. I think our goal for the game was not get sacked. Well, yeah, how, that's not going that well. Fourth and 20. And Chicago will take over. That's it. You got to fumble that. Fields. Time running out. And Dorian Tompkins finally gets home. The entire D-line, apart from Dorian Tompkins, is at a sack in this game. And finally, he gets one. I mean, even Deshaun Hand had one, and he doesn't really even play that much anymore. Fields with time. Forced out right. And somehow throws it away. How do we not get a sack there? Fields, launching deep, or a warrior, got mossed. Oh, jeez. What's happening in this game, man? What's happening? It's gonna be 28-21 Chicago. <laughs> All right, playing from behind now, which means we can't really afford to make too many mistakes. We prefer not to make any mistakes. But, you know, that's the nature of the game sometimes. We have not played at our best today. Our defense has been super shaky. As we'll find the rookie, Rafael Wilkinson. Maybe should look to get him more involved. I mean, he's been absolutely lights out in every game that he's been healthy. So, it would make sense to make him a bigger part of the offense. As Richie Owens is open out of the backfield and we found him. I mean, Paul Garrison's played a good game statistically. But we've been sacked too much. And we've missed some opportunities. TJ, good room, good work. 18-yard gain sets up first and 10. Not even first and goal. That's peculiar. It, it's first and goal, really, though. Let's try a stretch left. Work DeAndre Swift. Cut up the middle. Have a little bit of space. Swift fighting for the end zone. Got it. DeAndre Swift has tied things up with his second total TD of the game. Of course, the other being a receiving touchdown earlier. That's nice. It's nice. 28-28. Our defense just has to step up. Make a play. Get a stop. God. Do something right. Turner lobbing it up. Ford trying to stay with him. He got mossed. Can anybody make a play this game? Is that humanly possible? Oh, a war warrior moss. Ford moss. <sighs> just just do something right. I mean, they're they're lucking their way down the field. It's Kelvin Harmon, man. Get a grip. Get a grip. Dorian Tompkins is injured as if anything else could go wrong. And that's wide open over the middle. I mean, we have BJ Dickerson covering an already covered receiver. Middle of the field, left wide open. Bears retake the lead, 35-28. This is a shootout. This is a shootout. And that's a pick six. Um, so I tried to time it like he'd be open, and then I tried to come back to the football. Didn't work. I was just throwing that. I, with the curls, you're supposed to time it. Supposed to throw on the break. I thought I did that. I guess it came out late. And, uh, gets tighter man coverage than I've ever seen any of my corners do. Yeah, stupid, but. Uh, it's just, I just threw it. I was gonna throw it anyway. Alright, what do you do with those? Well, that's huge for momentum for Chicago. Not so good for us. Although it does zoom the field out so I can actually see more. I kind of like that. Or maybe I always can, and I'm just thinking about NCAA right now. 
Having so much fun on that series. I see how open it is. I want this. Rashad Reese. Why is it underthrown? How is that dead eye? What do you mean? That one I legitimately take no responsibility for. I saw Godwin wide open. I get it. That's a decent amount of yards. Rashad Reese is by him. Look where the ball is. It's about three yards underthrown at minimum. No, it's more because the ball should be like here. It's at least five yards underthrown. Uh, how? How is that dead eye? Tell me. Tell me how that's the perfect throw there. Sure didn't look like it to me. You got McMillian with 84 speed. 84 speed running down the field with 95 speed. He's beat and it's underthrown with dead eye. Give me a break, dude. That's going to be a broken tackle. Whew. Justin Fields, 17 for 25, 349, and four touchdowns. Pretty good. Fields with legitimately all day. Would have had a touchdown if the ball wasn't dirted. Second and 10, somebody make a play, please. This O-line is playing like Jesus. Broken tackle, Montgomery touchdown. I mean, it really is like I'm playing NCAA 14 with my community college team. We cannot do anything. All right, we're actually going to have to start playing well if we want to come back. Because this, uh, this has been piss poor so far. We need some momentum, man. We need somebody to make a play. Good start from Richie Owens. We'll try to get another playoff before the third quarter ends. It's third and one. I'm getting the first down no matter what. It's going to be via run. We were short. <laughs> Uh, I thought we had the angle. No matter what. They were going for it. I really don't like this play I just called. I want to save my time out, though. Super conflicted. Play action. That play is usually supposed to go to the back, but Tyler Higby's open. First down. We're going to stay in the formation. Two picks this game, dude. Ugh. Annoying. Rock play action. I'm throwing it deep. We got Rod God. Of course, we're not going to get an animation to catch the football. I recognized the route underneath as open. I wanted the TD in one-on-one. -on -one. Garrison on the run, finds Rashad Reese. First down. I like playing a mobile game. Paul Garrison isn't just a prototypical pocket passer. We're a guy, we get out of the pocket, we make stuff happen. Just hasn't necessarily been there this game. I mean, brain dead pick for me. Just thinking that Rod God would be open. Just gotta throw that away. But the second pick, I mean, it's just... I, I, I hate that. I mean, we have dead eyes. So I'm like, oh, we can make that throw. No. Can't. Underthrown. Apparently, I was thrown perfectly, but it wasn't, and we're sacked. Dude, the pressure's turned up to a billion right now. They just keep... They keep blitzing. Stop doing that, please. Oh, he's in the zone. How do we not get any momentum, man? Get, let me have some. Can I just have a, a wee bit of momentum? I'm going to the end zone. W what is that? I'm trying to throw a jump ball. We just don't get it. We don't get a jump ball. We don't get an opportunity. So frustrating, and I have to choose this crap play to try and make something happen. Man, this play is sick. Richie Owens, touchdown! We're fighting to stay in it. We are fighting to stay in it. You can't review crap. 49-35. We're still down by a lot. Needed the TD there. Got it. And we need more. Need a lot more. You know what we can use? A stop. How about one? Play action. Is he just going to check down? Please, dude, please. I, it can't have receivers getting open, bouncing off the sidelines. We're asked to cover for 30 minutes. Fields forced out. He'll throw. Nearly intercepted, but dropped. B.J. Dickerson blew it. Oh, my God. 
Second and goal, Chicago. Dude, we get no pass rush. I know he's been sacked multiple times. We get no pass rush. Wilbur in the hole. Give me a fumble, please. Fullback dive. Wilbur makes a stop. Nope, it's a touchdown. All right, great. All right, let's come back down a billion with not a lot of time remaining. That's a pick. All right, well, the game was already over. Might as well have it. Cantrell Bird, pick six. Nice. I can't even snap the ball. What is this? Throwing it deep. Rod God. Pick for no reason. Wade doesn't even try to catch it. With aggressive... He doesn't even try! To avoid potential injury, we're bringing in Alex Soto for the rest of the game. We're still going to try and win, but we're down 63 to 35. We've allowed 63 points. I understand 14 of those are via pick six. I don't even know where the football is here. Oh, it's intercepted by Cameron Ford. Nice. Where was that earlier in the game? Would have been nice to have that. Ooh, they're going to blitz. Actually, I was going to have Rashad Reese. I was going to have him as a safety net out of the backfield. Yeah, maybe I still will. I was going to keep him in the block against the blitz, but now I'm second guessing that. I might just dunk it down and let him make a play. Oh, Khalil Mack contained? You, you dastardly man. We'll rush for it with the speedster, Alex Soto. 70 speed. It's probably the biggest thing about why he didn't start was that he had really slow speed. Is that a pick? Oh, it's not. It's caught somehow. Okay. I don't even know where to go with the football this game. I feel like I can't, can't do anything. I just feel like nothing's really getting open, which is unusual. It's just, uh, it's pretty frustrating. Third and eight. TJ Hawkinson, we didn't get any type of uh, run with the catch, so he kind of cut back towards the middle of the field and got tackled. Fourth and three, two minute warning. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're treading water at this point. We're about to drown. Fourth and three, and we're sacked. Face mask, first down for free. Thank you, Khalil Mack, moron. We're getting absolutely screamed at, by the way. I, I can't get rid of the football fast enough. I mean, look at there. I try to throw as fast as I can, as, as fast as Chris Godwin's open, and Jalen Johnson makes a diving interception that defies the laws of physics and gravity. I mean, how did he even do that? You're telling me that's not open? He stopped, and he's an idiot. Never went for the football. Chris Godwin. I don't know what this game was. It wasn't fun, I'll tell you that. I felt cheated the entire game. But uh, that is what it is. I guess the best defense in football can allow 63 points. Any given Sunday, right? Freaking Thursday nights. Broken tackle. It's game over. I'm not going to bother with timeouts. That's going to be the ball game. Yeah, I mean, this last one, uh, this played so weird. But you win some, you lose some. And sometimes you get uh, absolutely humiliated on a Thursday night against a 2-12 and team. Sometimes that happens. I mean, even without the, the pick sixer, I, I threw four picks with Paul Garrison. One with Alex Soto. Five total. That's going to be the most I've thrown in maybe 40 episodes. At the end of the day, we allowed 415 yards passing and four touchdowns to Justin Fields while allowing a touchdown to David Montgomery as well, who broke eight tackles to my uh, zero. It's pretty cool. Richie Owens did have two touchdowns, seven for 127. Touchdown for TJ Hawkinson, one of his best games in a while. DeAndre Swift, the rushing touchdown as well. And then defensively, I mean, the sack numbers look pretty good. This D-line didn't show up. This defense didn't show up. I don't care what the numbers say. Uh, they were absolutely god-awful. We got no pressure. I don't care that we got five or six sacks. We got no pressure on a down-to-down -down basis. We allowed so many points in quarters two and three. After a 7 nothing start in the first quarter, you probably wouldn't have thought that we would allow 63 points. But, uh... I'll surprise you every single time. I mean, just a disgusting performance. Uh, I'm not going to change the sliders. Just hopefully we come out next week and play better. Because that was unacceptable. That was, uh, that was terrible. 
I mean, I could maybe understand losing to a 2 and 12 team if you're 12 and 2. Maybe. But losing 63 to 35. Uh, we're not exactly rolling into the playoffs with very much momentum here. And it does not get easier in week 17, taking on a hot opponent, the 11 and 4, 87 overall Tampa Bay Bucks. That should be a fun one. See you in the next one. Take it easy. This is I hit at the park, Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. through. Yeah. Cool. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.